Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Time Attack, round two at Brands Hatch. Today we're running the Indie Land, and as you may know, this is the first event in a Time Attack double header round two today, round three tomorrow. two brands hatch it's a double header so we've got round three tomorrow today we've done uh, warm-up practice and qualifying during practice and warm-up we decided uh, I was just getting a, a general feel for the car really uh, dialed it in did a few uh, suspension changes some damper adjustment raised the rear up a little and then in qualifying went back out car felt much better Managed to get second place. Um, so yeah, we've got obviously the final coming up at 20 past four today. So fingers crossed we can, we can get a good result in again.
Tchaikovsky in the Honda NSX, a car that they have lovingly nicknamed Tsuki. And here we go. It looks like a little bit of smoke from the back of that car. So I'm Mike from Taggy We're Racing. Um, did a little bit of time attack last year in the Run What You Brung class. So I decided, right, that's it. Um, my boss Luke, he pushed me towards building my own car. So over, over the winter, we decided to build the Civic EK. It uh, started its life out as a 1.4, so obviously that engine got ripped out of it. Um, um, a K20 from a Civic EP3 Type R went in there, set a Skunk 2 dropping cams, and mapped by Jesse Halford from JCal. So we're running about 250 horsepower, uh, weighing around about 1,000, 1,050 kilos. Um, yeah, but the car, Touchwood, uh, has been faultless ever since building it. And uh, we obviously did Cadwell and got the first in qualifying there. Sadly, the final wasn't to be with the weather. But yeah, the car feels amazing. We've had no issues with it at all. Goes well and obviously here at Brands now and done two outings now and still feel spot on loads of time in the car loads of time in myself but yeah i'm a complete amateur really because i've uh, uh, prior to doing the time attack i'd only ever done like uh, two track days so yeah. oh wow yeah. so this is quite a step up for you then yeah. brands is uh brand new to me uh as well as cadwell and 
some of the other circuits I've never even been to. So, yeah, it'll be an interesting one, to say the least. Three again at Brands Hatch, it was a double header to Ray yesterday, now on the Sunday as well. Uh, unfortunately, we've got uh, quite a rough rear wheel bearing on the on the car, so I didn't go out for the initial um, warm up session. So, mainly to try and save the bearing for qualifying and final. Um, with, the, with the practice, just got a few laps in, got three fast laps in, and then decided to just cool down and come in engine light come on the car luckily it was nothing to worry about because an o2 sensor so we cleared that driving fine again so we're ready for qualifying next probably go at a very sim simple sort of pace probably around about the 55 second mark and then maybe turn things up a little bit on um for the final but yeah fingers crossed um, third place so far so see if we can get up there 
in the second. I don't think I'm going to touch first, unfortunately. There's a, a pro driver racing in the Fusion. And in second place is a Saxo currently. That's got a built race engine in and weighs about 600 ki 700 kilos, so it's a very quick thing. So, but yeah, you know, all I can do is try. I'm not going to push a car too far. Don't want to be outside of a comfort zone. Don't want to be replacing a car or an engine before next round, really, to be honest. So, yeah, just go at my own pace. That's all I've come here to do. Uh, I'm a happy, I'll be more than happy with third place anyway. So, yeah, do what I can do. Honda Integra. Uh, it belongs to Dan Eves and it's one of the only cars to win all three races in a day in a touring cars meeting. And then you've got it here today. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be on track, was it? Um, no. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, well, yeah, so yesterday we were obviously out here with the NSX. Um, certainly wasn't to be, it uh, had an engine problem in the first session. So, we kind of predicted that we might have issues with the NSX, with the NSX this weekend, so we brought the DC5 as well. Um, luckily, we managed to swap the car over, so we got out into the uh, second session, and it was a case of just drive the car around and, and see how it went, and it was, it was going really well. Uh, got it all warmed up, ready for qualifying, and it wouldn't start. So it was obviously not our weekend. Um, turned out the crank position sensor had failed. But because it's a touring car, it doesn't use any genuine sensors. So we couldn't just take the sensor off a different engine. Luckily, uh, Born HPP, just up the road, had an exact same engine on their shelf. So we went there last night. They lent us a sensor and got it up running this morning. So yeah, looking forward to it. Excellent. And so yeah, it's not a bad car to have a B an XBTCC car as a backup. No, well, that's it, yeah. The NSX is obviously an amazing car, but to have a touring car as a, as a reserve is a pretty cool place to be. But yeah, we, we bought it because it's a, a massive piece of history and because we're a Honda specialist, it kind of just made sense for us to, to have it when, when we could. So yeah, everyone loves it and it's, it is such a special car. I'm not going out to break lap records, but it's nice to just drive it around and, and enjoy for it, it for what it is. Excellent, well good luck out there today. Hope you don't have any more breakages. Thank you very much, thank you. Thanks. So, how was that first interview with Time Attack? Weird, because yeah. when you start talking, then you hear your voice yeah. in all around brands, and you're like, oh my god, my voice 
is there. It's everywhere. It's alright. Enjoyed it. Cool. Made it, man. Thank <laughs> you. 